Can't tell you how lovely it is this morning waking up to this absolutely Yay! gorgeous place, full on autumn going on right now. It's so beautiful here. It's just lovely. It makes us, I don't know, it really puts me in that Christmassy Yay! type of vibe. Because <laughs> we all know as soon as Halloween's done, it's Christmas time, right? Uh, little man, where are you going? Me and my leaf. Okay. We're not, we're not making the same mistake we made yesterday. We've left the pram. Yeah, we've got the sling and the backpack with the strap. Yeah. And we're um, hopefully going to be able to make a little bit more progress on yeah. Venice today. Okay. Without breaking our Which bed. is the right way? Oh, it's this way. Sorry, yeah. Sweetheart. Let's have a look at your dolly. Very, very beautiful. Ella's brought her dolls. Everyone's got little backpacks going on for some stuff to do on their bus. Oh Even though it's like a two minute bus journey, but you know, you know kids, right? We've got all the iPads, we've got all the toys, snacks, yeah. you name it. Oh, leather. that's the point. Boom, these backpacks. Ooh, very nice right, indeed. It's got my Christmas pocket off it, so I'm playing with it. But um, it's in my bag, so I'll put it back on later. Okay, fair enough. Where are these available, guys? Fidgets and Me Star. Yes. Which will be in the description box below. You, you've got a stick. Wow, you can buy these backpacks on babyandmebrand.com. And the link will be down below. With the backpack, you get that I need to take out with, uh, with the backpack, everybody will get one of these, an exclusive Fidgets and Me tag. You get a poppet, these come in pink, purple, and black. or black. And then you get one of the fidgets that, yeah, this is a poppet purse type thing. Or a little tiny bag. And then, and then you get one of the fidget to put on, and then lots of space for extra fidgets. And you can put one of the zipper. Okay, and fill the backpack. Yeah, you can fill the backpack like yeah. I have. Yeah, and not only that, but we've got lots of new fidget toys coming out on Fidgets and Me this week. So in a couple of days. Let's have a look. We have them in blue and pink. We have them in many colours. Yeah. Cool, man. Right, enough of uh, yeah. Baby and Me brand plugging. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so we're leaving the beautiful woodland that we are in right now, and we are heading into Venice on the bus again. Very quick bus journey from just outside of the campsite here and we're going to see Venice in the daytime, really looking forward to that and hopefully exploring some more and seeing some more of its historicalness today. Did you um, ask for the code for the gate so we don't have an experience? It, yeah, it's always right, it's straight down. I don't know why we got it right, I don't know why it didn't work last night. <laughs> well, the gate code here didn't work last night so I had to action man it over the fence. the fence yeah. to let everybody back and into the campsite the when we got back. The little map and it said it on it but the password doesn't work in. It is the right one though. Yeah, it is. I was talking about you. I'm tempted to jump in that. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Of course, this is gorgeous too. We just got off the bus, and as you come off the bus, which is just over there, you walk to the left, and you end up on the first bridge, which is this one here that we're on right now. Very, very different in the daytime. Very, very beautiful still. I love it. So we're going to the gondola today then, guys. Hopefully. Yeah. Possibly. Well, when I saw the thing yesterday, the like thing for it, it says that it's a maximum of five people. Now, I don't know if that means baby in arms. Yeah, James hopefully we'll... in arms. And they'll let us all go on together. But I don't really see the point in doing it separately. No. Hopefully we'll be able to do it together. Like, yeah, hopefully we'll be able yeah. to do it all together. Unless, if they don't, and they're like, no, it doesn't include babies, then you should go on. No, you should go on. No, you should. I did the pedalo. No, no, I don't want to fight about this. You're going on. It's all good, man. Chris is going on. Come on. Look!
Venice is full of amazing shops like this. Like the masks and artwork in here are crazy. They're so cool. So you definitely don't need to take a gondola tour of Venice to see all the sights and to get around. It's definitely small enough for you to walk around. In fact, we're in the centre right now. Um, we are going to another couple of monuments which are on the south side a little bit later. But right now, we are going to jump on a gondola just because we're only here once. So we thought we might as well experience it all if you we can do. You can come and not go on one. I think it'll be a really nice experience for the girls. Unfortunately, we did speak to someone and they said that Babies is fine, like it's, it is five p people per gondola. Um, that Mila would be fine to go on as well, but not Jace. <laughs> well, obviously not Jace, but you can't go on with Jace as well. Yeah, like, Jace so. is not classed as an on the on your knee baby. So um, unfortunately, one of us can't go on, and it's going to be me. But guys, I'm not being funny, but me and Mila will happily go and get a glass of wine because <laughs> I haven't had a glass of wine in about two years. And I can't think of a better place to have my first glass of wine. So I'm going to go and sit. One second, sweetheart. I'm going to go and sit in front of the water here, watch you all on your boat, me low asleep, and enjoy myself a glass of wine. Look at me. Look at me. I'm in the fair At Lax and Clown, we came on the boat. So That's true. I did go on the. Um, Wait, where's Joyce? I did go on the. Um, the pedalo at Lax and Clown, so I'll let you go on this. I think it's actually more hard work being on a boat with Jace. <laughs> probably. And that's why I'm quite happy to sit on the, in on peace. On the, um, <laughs> we went to, when we were on Lax and Clyde, Jace was trying to jump in every five seconds. He was, so good luck with that one. No, I'm only joking. These ones, you, you get a proper seat and you sat down and there's yeah. someone else on the boat obviously with you. So I'm going to show you guys have lots of fun. So the gondolas are not cheap here and uh, in the daytime you would pay around 80 euros or you will pay 80 euros for a tour around, it's a 35 minute tour around the canals here and then at night time that jumps up to 100 euros <laughs> per gondola for five people. So if there's five of you and you're splitting it all the way then it doesn't work out too much I guess. But if you're a family like we are then it's quite expensive. I mean I wouldn't, I wouldn't be accepting 80 euros to haul a family of five through these streets <laughs> I think it's a fair price yeah, yeah. oh my gosh it's actually kind of scary I don't, I don't like water <laughs> it's so okay. cool it's so pretty as well okay, just a sec. okay. oh the confidence he must have to just jump on the side of the boat like that I'd be scared I'd like falling or something <laughs> oh I would love to jump in that water right now I really fancy going to the it's so beautiful, we've got like the best time of day I think to go. Yeah, I know. Golden hour it time. Like setting, isn't it? Okay. Let me take Jay, sweetheart. Okay. Good girl, thank you. Goodbye. Come here, Jay. Goodbye. Woo! Okay, Jay, you ready? Yes! Thank you! So funny. Chris just went to pay, you have to pay cash, so he went and got cash out and I just said just give me the change because he got out 100. And then I can go and get myself a drink with Mila whilst you guys are on the boat. And he went to get on, <laughs> this is not even funny, but he just went to the guy, can I pay now? I need to give my wife the change. And it sounded so funny. Oh my gosh. Probably not funny to you guys. Anyway, they've gone on. Some of you might be thinking, Oh, Sarah must be feeling really disappointed. Honestly, I'm not. We could have just got two and then I could have gone. But honestly, I'm quite looking forward to just having half an hour peace and quiet all to myself. I think the guy's taking a picture. We'll insert that now. Bon voyage! Here we go. This is so exciting. We're going on a big boat ride. Wow, that sun is so gorgeous. <laughs> Come on, let's lean all the way to the side. <laughs> <laughs> now then, little Mila, let's go find ourselves a nice little cafe restaurant. Sit and get a nice little drink. Yes. Yeah. Palazzo Papadopoli. 
and this word live Napoleone Bonaparte around 250 years ago. Wow. Today this is the most beautiful hotel in Venice. The name is Hotel Amman and it is the only one with the seven stars. Wow. Two million euros. And this is one of the most famous restaurants of the city, La Teigo. This one? Yeah. Normally a lot of people, stars, famous people go to eat over there. Yeah. 2019 in summertime, I was passing with the gondola and I saw Michael Jordan. Wow, that is so cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Forward to that, um, it's about three half an hour. <laughs> Hashtag mum life. I guess I'll get mum time. Mum time? I guess I'll get alone time. And they've all left home. And I'm wishing for them all back. Mm -hmm. said that was the best thing that she's done this whole trip that was really, that was really cool so really really cool way to see Venice we did spot mummy and now we're gonna go ruin her fun <laughs> <laughs> oh that was that, really cool right that was that my favorite thing we've done this trip Definitely. <laughs> really fun. it was and the guy was really cool he was telling us all about the history, the history of this place and it was so relaxed and it made me sleepy <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit weird because like, you were like rocking the boat and you feel like yeah. so light, like your body feels light. I've got one and I'm like, <laughs> let's go. It was really cool, really cool seeing all the old, I want to do it again. all the old buildings and stuff. And uh, he was telling us about the high tide that they had in 2019 and how nobody lives on the bottom floors of all of these palaces or apartments here because of that, because they're not, because the tide keeps rising really high. And um, he showed us like the marks on the wall where the tide had risen super, super high back then. And the time before that, that it had done that, before 2019, was in 1966, he said. And the 2019 was like higher than the 66 one. And he was showing us the marks on the walls where the tide had come up, and it was, it was scary. Like, it's all the bottom floors of all these places would have been completely flooded. Anyway, it was really cool. Definitely worth doing. It is 80 euros, so it is a little bit expensive. But if you're in Venice, you should definitely go for it. It's a really cool way to see the city. But now, let's go destroy mum's fun. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yes, I woke up the second I sat down. Oh man. I was like, I'm gonna sit down here with this glass of wine, I'm gonna enjoy it. Sat down and she went, and I was like, man, that was the best thing I've ever done. Is it good? Yeah, it was my favorite yeah. thing I've ever done. Really? So Is it really good? <laughs> It was really cool. That's not water and you it was can't so try relaxing that. Mainly. Except Jace was singing halfway through and oh, row, yeah. row, row my boat <laughs> <laughs> gently down the stream. Jace River. Typical boy. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're in St. Mark's Square right now. 
And then when we pan around to the right. Look at how incredible this place is. Is a camera even picking up any justice for this top? It does look pretty good. Oh no, <laughs> not like it's in real life though. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. It was a little bit of a walk across the city to get to St. Mark's Square, where we are now, and Doji Palace, I hope I just said that right, um, in the corner. I'm going to go show you that in a minute because that is absolutely ridiculously beautiful, but it was so worth it. So, so worth it. Okay, so I had to go on Google and make sure it's Doge Palace. So, it's spelled D-O-G-E Palace, Doge. Uh, you must be embarrassed with what you just said. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed with my mind. <laughs> well, the camera wasn't on, so it wasn't. I don't need to say yeah, what just happened. happened. I was like, oh, look how cool those big Look at the big beams. Big just look beams. at the beams first. You're looking through the beams. Big red beams. These beams here, right? The big red tall ones here, okay. On the top of those, they've got like golden balls. Right. So I just. So she went, she went, oh my gosh, it's like upper Harry Potter. And um, what's that thing? Oh yeah, Squid Witch. And so it's like, <laughs> it's all like, what? And it's like Squid Witch. Off of Harry Potter. <laughs> you win it. Are you getting the face of the Squid Game? And yeah, we're we'll just bleeding screen that right now. <laughs> This is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've literally I've ever been in my whole entire life. It's so pretty. <laughs> we were just looking at looking up some facts and doing a bit of research on this place. And we we've, we've learned that these platforms here, I kind of was like, are we allowed to sit on those? It looks like maybe some concerts been here or something like that. They've got like the yellow and black stripes on them. And we looked up and we found out something pretty interesting. These are here for when the tide suddenly surges in. For people to stand on. The so basically, Venice is sinking at approximately one centimetre per 10 years. So that might not sound like a lot, but when you look around at the beauty of this place, that's actually quite scary. But in the not well. too different fu distant future, most of this will be underground and it does spark your imagination to think what's underground that we don't know about like this will all be underground in a few thousand years well quite a lot of thousand years <laughs> this will be all underground and it will be found by the generation that's alive in that time but what like we've only explored is it something like one percent of our oceans or something um i'm sure that's yeah. a fact anyway Imagine like what's under our oceans that we don't know about. Imagine the buildings, the history. Like, no, is it five percent? I think it's five percent. Is it five percent? I think it's five percent. Our I know it's only a small amount. Yeah, it's that's so cool. That's the thing. Like doing like you hear people say things like, "Oh, yeah, there's not this, there's not this animal, or there couldn't be this." Like I'm just like, you don't know what's down there. We don't know what's don't down know. there. I don't care about the science. Yeah. You don't know. What's down there. No, we don't know. You don't know what's down there. Anyway, it's super interesting. This place is really beautiful. We also have just learned that. It ha this happens around 100 times a year, which actually surprised me because obviously Venice is just like sitting on the ocean. Like it's a small, small place sitting on the ocean. Yeah. Don't tell the baby to wake up. I won't. Isla's the baby. They're playing a game right now. Okay. So we're sat on this square right now, and about 100 times a year, mainly in November. Eek. That's when we're here right now. And March, when it's a full moon and it's high tide. This whole place has boats coming through it. Like it's totally flooded. And the water, and they the this is the lowest point. This is the lowest point on the yes, island, right? Yeah. This is the lowest point on the island. So this is where the measurements are always taken from. And the sea literally surges through the pavement. 
and it stays at an alarming rate, right? So it's alarming, like, they need like platforms run, for people. Like jump yeah, on they need platforms for people to jump onto. The alarm sound, there's flooding sirens. Everybody rushes home to take their carpets up, like all their anything expensive they might have on the floors. And this whole place turns into like a flooded. How do you stall. get like what? Do you have to like get like a boat out? Or, like, how crazy! Uh, how does, I don't know how oh, well, it'll works. go back it's down. I guess every time. There might be a video. And they were saying there like, probably is. And they were saying that um, they they replace this pavement every. I don't know how long. I didn't notice that. But they'll basically just put sand over the top of this, and then lay more stone on the top of that. So this is quite big, going. yes, it's layers and layers of sand and stone. So, so interesting. I'm a pretty scary though to be, I mean, I kind of like to see it. Imagine it happening now, we've got it on camera. Like we all had to just quickly jump on the bench. The, the alarm started going off. It's, it's so scary interesting. Like, you'd be sat there thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to come over the bench. Like, yeah, you'd be thinking, please you'd stop. You'd be thinking, please, please stop. stop, please stop. Don't because it's sea, that's what, that's yeah. what the facts were saying. It's actually sea, it's just the sea coming in. It's terrifying. It's scary. But so cool and interesting at the same time. Goodness, that was a long walk back to this little restaurant that we sat. Yeah. I probably should have actually. It's a, bit, it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? I'm shouting like that. <laughs> so I'm shouting like that. Anyway, we come to this little restaurant that we saw on the way here, like a little cafe restaurant thing, to get some cokes, bottle of water, and to have a sit down because our feet are killing. Not that Mila would know about that because she has to sit in the sling all the way on Mama's back. No fair. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Isabel. <laughs> oh, it's good. Isabel's like, I might get a little bit too. I just want to go for something for different. Oh, is that mine? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Mm, look how good that wrap is, and look how massive it is. Oh my, it's like big as my head. It looks so good. Give me a taste test. No, I don't want to taste it. I mean, you, I'm t joking. you tell me the taste test. Okay. I'll go a bite you get, this. You get your like mouth this. Like this. It's amazing. <laughs> mm, the hammy is so salty. No, it's good. Another one. Cheese. That's really good. So now I've just sat down feeding Mila. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. You can have that. Feeding Mila, and we thought we'd give Esme that smoothie. <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> it's not it, girl. We thought we'd give you a little facts thing on Venice just before we leave. Not a lot. Don't worry. I mean, this whole place is not what I expected. No. I expected it to be more city-like. I expected buses everywhere. I don't know why. I'm probably really stupid. So no, you stupid know. Saying that. But I just expected it to be more city, but it's not like that at all, and I'm blown away by it. I'm not disappointed. No, it's way be more beautiful than not I expected. Pretty. But it's like a, it's literally like a film set no. everywhere. No. And we were wondering about, <laughs> we were wondering about the masks as well. Oh yeah, so, so I, I looked this up. Okay, so basically, it said that in the 13th century, the upper class and the lower class um, all kind of mingled together and like partied together wearing the masks to keep their identity hidden. Um, but it was really cool because it was like one thing that the upper class and the lower class both did together. Yeah, like, I love that. Like, that was like, doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, so it was like kind of a thing that they wore a mask. I feel like they wore a mask that it, they didn't know who each other were. Yeah. So they were all treated the same. Not, yeah. They were like looked at and be like, that. oh, he's really rich and she's really poor or whatever. Yeah, it's really cool. But um, that only happened yeah. on a holiday between oh, yeah, 26th and December. To Lent. To Lent. To Lent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I absolutely love that. I think it's yeah, such it's a great idea where it. nothing else matters. Everyone's got a mask on. Everyone's equal. Yeah. I love it. It's really cute. such a cool thing. Can I get a cat? Can I get a cat? No. Look, it, you can put it in a cute Christmas box. Oh gosh, you're being serious. Yeah. It's a no. <laughs> Don't use that. You should. Santa can't bring a boy cat on his sleigh. Of course he can. <laughs> yeah. We're getting a cat, guys. Where are you? You got cat cream. Uh, yummy. We have um, one more of uh, that one in a cup, please. Cut.